since we're being honest, what about all this shit about Charlie Sheen? Why is everybody saying that I was fucking Charlie Sheen and then I had a disease? That is not true. Oh. I didn't say that. You're looking at me like I said But that. you knew about this story because I, I remember I, before. I know. I it, asked you about it. You didn't it, have sex with Charlie Sheen? No, I did not have sex with Charlie Sheen. Do you I know was, him? Yes, he was yes. a really good friend of mine. But, 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 okay, actually. Now I shouldn't tell all the details before this stuff. But he's actually sure. a good friend of yours. He was a, he was Not like a good, a good friend. friend, friend. He a was good an amazing friend. friend to me during gotcha. the time that we were in a part of each other's lives. Okay. I haven't spoken to him in about three years, but um, yeah, he saved me from an abusive relationship um, from a person that had gone out to Hollywood and gotten themselves on drugs. Um, I was be behind the scenes. I was being abused. I was dealing with all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And his friendship meant the world to me. Mm -hmm. He gave me the ability to have the freedom to express myself with my art. Uh, he was a backer to me. He took amazing care of me. So yes, that part is true. But him and I have never had sex. Hmm. And I do not have any fucking diseases, people. <laughs> that is one thing that was really hard to Who swallow. said you had diseases? I never heard oh of diseases. Oh my God, if you Google the, the situation with me and Charlie, um, after the Tiger stuff, it happened right after. It was like boom, boom, boom. Um, they took it and started... I gave a statement. They contacted me because... Years ago, someone threatened to release a story before any of the Tiger stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Some girl had taken a picture of me over at Charlie's house and so, gave it to the tabloids and said they were going to release this story about me. And there, there was a girl that was jealous because he'd spoiled the shit out of me. I was ha having a hard time, so the guy was, like, super nice to me. And these girls that were actually sleeping with him, and there I saw countless of them, little sluts, um, <laughs> were jealous because he would... Be extra generous to me, super kind to me. And you never slept with him? No. I but never he was just had giving you money because he's a good guy. It wasn't even just about money. He was helping me to get away from an abusive situation. And I was no longer happy being in the adult industry. And I didn't want to feel trapped in that world anymore. Uh, he was the most amazing person. So. Do you think he was frustrated that he didn't get to have sex with you? You know what? Honestly, uh, I feel like he could have if he wanted to because I respected him so much and he was so good to me mm -hmm. that. Uh, if I, actually I was kind of pissed that he wouldn't sleep with me because he was sleeping with all these girls movie stars and all this stuff and These penthouse pets or not penthouse pets, but just like, you know, centerfold sure. kids, gorgeous women um, And I was just like, wow, why are you always want me over here? Why are you always wanting to hang out with me? Why are we sitting up there like having I have this a great <laughs> friendship? We ha you know, he, we have this great friendship and he would tell me everything So I knew a lot of stuff. I just didn't know about what he was going through but I knew whatever it was was something dark because I would always, like, I'd read my poetry to him, and he would tell me some of his poetry all the time. Like, he's a really good writer. Is he a good poet? Yeah, he's actually really good, but his stuff is scary. What was one of his poems? Uh, he, one of them was about, that really caught my eye, that made sense to me much later on when everything came out about him, mm -hmm. was something about the Grim Reaper. And I and he would read, he was, like, reading me this poem, and he, he didn't have to read it from anything. He just had it in his mind. And I remember him telling me, and I was just like, that's so sad. Like, you have everything a man could want in the entire world, and you you have these dark thoughts. Like, I didn't know what was going on with him. Now, years later, when I found out what he was privately going through, he was going through during that time that I was his friend. So I was a part of his life during one of the darkest times for him and for me as well. And I believe in some kind of way I was meant to be there for him because I was kind of like a psychiatrist. How'd him. you guys meet? Uh, one of his girls invited me over, one of his girlfriends, because they were a fan of mine and they oh. had all my sex toys. And they were using my sex toys. And she was like, wouldn't that be cool if we could get me and Isabella to come over and hang out with us? So they had me come over and um, as like a, you know, an appearance to come and see him and meet him. And I get there and there's all these gorgeous girls hanging out in there. They're having sex with my sex toys. And I'm just kind of like in shock. I walk into this, you know, house and I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? But he was super friendly, super open, super warm hearted, super just cool. Really, really cool. Like the coolest person I've ever met in Hollywood. It's funny to me that every girl that ever walked in that house had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. He never made me do that. He never made me feel wow. uncomfortable. He never made me feel like I was a secret or anything bad about me. He was just the coolest person. And I, if he's listening to this or hears about this, I want to tell him thank you so much for what he did for me. What do you suppose that was, Jim? Um, you, were, you were guessing some of the reasons cool. that he might have had her over and stuff? Well, of course, he was, he would, you would think that we were sleeping together, but that wasn't true. That was not true. That would have been my guess. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, he knew what he was going through at the time, so he definitely didn't, he was protecting me from that. I, I, I asked him once, like, why don't you sleep with me? Why don't you sleep with everybody else? Is there something wrong what with me? What did he say? He Coughed. Just, no, he, he just looked at me and started smiling. He was like, I have a lot of respect for you. And I was like, okay. But, um... <laughs>
Yeah, but <laughs> sleeping with someone doesn't mean you don't respect them. Well, it does when you're when you when, when you're, you're going through that HIV. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, they said there was rumors that he didn't tell people. I obviously don't know the truth of that. I don't know either. That's right. one of the things I don't know. But I know he was being blackmailed by people because he told me um, a lot of stuff. Then, yeah, I heard there was millions. What were they blackmailing him for? I don't know. I don't know what the things were for. I just thought there were different people that were blackmailing him for obviously. Didn't he say like ten reason. million dollars in blackmail? Fuck, man. Over time, I'm sure it added up to be that much. Well, I think he said that he was uh, before he. Announced to the world that he had HIV or whatever that uh, he was getting blackmailed by people who were gonna expose that Someone took a photo I think of medicine. That yeah. was what I heard. Yeah, and I heard yeah. other things which haven't been substantiated So I don't want to say them. Right, of course. But who cares? Why would I say that? If I didn't, if I didn't <laughs> oh, shut up. got a little gossip. <laughs> nah, huh? just rumors. something in the chamber I don't, Jim. Like, I don't like to say rumors like that because then you fucking put that on somebody if it's Yeah, not but true. you can you can look up my name and his name and they'll try to Oh, I have. It, it looked, <laughs> even though they didn't say that I was positive, they tried to uh, allude with the kind of allegedly his girlfriend Mia Isabella or this that and the third but I had never even my statement that I had get, I had given to the public when they contacted me was simply saying he was one of the most incredible friends I've ever had I was sorry to hear that news about his situation but I knew that if anybody could handle dealing with this in a major public way it'd be him because he just doesn't give a fuck a lot of times he like he's a strong person and they took that and tried to say that I was sleeping with him and I scared the Kardashians and the Kylie girl because I was dating Charlie Sheen and oh, Tyga and then that and, oh. that and, that. and yeah. so they started spinning it and it just it, it just privately how did it, how did he around. tell how did he tell you he didn't tell me i didn't know anything oh he never told you i knew oh. i didn't i knew a lot of things about they his life together. but i didn't know that i just knew he was suffering through something oh. really hard um, by the way he interacted with me and the things he would tell me but he never told me that have you ever have you thought